All right, Mr. Telephoto TV. All right, I want to make this clear, right? A couple things I want to say off the rip. I always like justifying anything that I say and stand up. I don't know Nicki Minaj. I tell the Pharaoh been afforded to meet some people, some great musicians, artists, talent, whatever. I have not met anyone of the caliber of a Nicki Minaj. Not that type of celebrity. It just hadn't happened for me yet. I've met Kev Hart. But Nicki Minaj, the, the, just the, the ego that comes with it, I have not been afforded to meet her. But I want to acknowledge the talent that is present when we talk about somebody like Nicki Minaj. You can say what you want about her bars now. You can say they're not up to par now. Y'all got to give that chick her just due for the last decade. Pretty much she's held down the female hip-hop side of things. It's just the truth. You can say what you want. You don't got to like her personally. She's held it down. Now. Let's talk Nicki Minaj industry image. I'm not in the industry. I don't do that. Uh, I've gotten DMs from people who want me to rock with them and, and, and kind of change personas. And I'm early in this, right? I'm, I'm way behind a lot of people, but I have started to get like DMs or messages from people who want me to um, bottom labels, not the big labels. Let me make that clear. Not the big labels, but a, a couple of the middle of the pack to the bottom labels have hit me and they kind of wanted me to change the direction of some of my tone on some of my posts uh, on YouTube. You know, that ain't happening. Y'all know how we rocking. Teleferal TV, y'all know how we rocking. But I will say this, all right? Nicki Minaj is somebody who, when you talk industry, I've heard nothing but terrible stuff about her as a person right i've heard nothing but terrible stuff about her as a person again i have not met her i cannot um speak on if it's true or not but i'm just telling you what i've heard i've heard that she's very spiteful the remy ma situation was just who she was that was the one that was just most present for those who don't know after the remy ma sheetha record came out that is a fact that Nicki Minaj was texting radio personalities and DJs like, don't play this record. If you play this record, I'll never come up to your radio station again. I'll never do your show again. You know what I'm saying? Just stuff like that, which is kind of um, the, kind of the young money way. Like Wayne has told a lot of people no, and Drake and Nicki kind of have some reputations that are iffy. Uh, Nicki's more than Drake, and that's kind of her reputation, all right? And um, this story that comes out, for those who don't know, Nicki had a, a record on her album called Anyone About Anyone Want By Heart uh, with Meek Mill on it. And K. Michelle took to Twitter yesterday to kind of vent. And she talks about how that record was first hers, all right? Listen to what K. Michelle said on Twitter. So I was listening to Anybody Want to Buy a Heart in My New Home real sex in the city like and i realized how hard i worked on that album that was my life my heart my emotions and i remember one day getting a call i never thought i would get i was told that a song from my album was being taken from me because the rapper that gave it to me girlfriend thought i was fucking him it was the title track of my album i was told to not say anything out of fear of politics I just sat back and listened and said, watch God handle it. God did more than handle the situation. I've just sat back and healed up. Watch karma. I'm not perfect, but I'm not evil or insecure. I couldn't believe it. I was like, you're you and I'm little old me and you're making phone calls and demanding I be stopped from making it. I've learned a lot in this business, but that was the first time when I saw that the people highest up truly have the lowest self-esteem my whole outlook on life changed. We are all the same. We get hurt. We are sometimes insecure. We all want to win. But sometimes by any means necessary. Always be you. Always be true. And wear your truth like a badge of honor. I learned a big lesson in this business. There is no love in hip hop and R&B. So K. Michelle is claiming that, and it's clear she's talking about Nicki. She don't got to say the name. We know the name of the album. Listen, man, it's clear. She's saying that Nicki Minaj was so, so spiteful and so insecure about her relationship with Meek Mill. Meek Mill had just gotten home from jail that she took the record from K. Michelle that probably was handed to K. Michelle from somebody who produced it and wrote it. And, and, and for those who don't know, when you get to that point in the game, 
most of your records are written for you produced for you all that is just for the right singer who has a story that can connect with the fans the most and came to shows like Nikki, somebody I looked up to, have always bigged up and respected her projects, but she was concerned about little old me, little K. Michelle from Memphis. She was that concerned about what I got going. You think that Meek Mill don't want me? And again, I've heard stories about Nikki with industry and all that. And I get where K. Michelle's coming from. K. Michelle has spoke highly of Nicki Minaj, and it looks like Nikki is. I mean, she's showing in the Remy situation, we seen a different side of Nicki. Like, she was going at Trey songs. She was going, before she dropped that No Frauds record, she was going at everybody on social media, Remy Ma. So you kind of seen bits and pieces of it on social media. Um, what do I believe here? I think this is something where Nicki needs to make that phone call to K. Michelle if it's worth it and kind of smooth things out. Because K. Michelle has a mouth on her and the sister at the least is gonna find a way to create some clickbait and some attention around her project that is forthcoming and it looks like she's starting that by telling a real story about how Nicki Minaj was jealous of the record that she had with Meek Mill and tried to block it and and stole the song ended up blocking it and playing the industry card and and took the record from her what do you think about this situation talk to me in the comment box below I think it's some very serious shit man and uh, Nikki's reputation is absolutely atrocious in the industry. Somebody that powerful and that respected by so many millions of fans, you know, you hear stories about people who are assholes to work with, but to actually see it in front of you on social media with Nikki and see somebody get records taken from them, it's very uncomfortable to watch. Thank you for the time, love, support. Don't take it for granted. Salute. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at bookingatismistelefero.com. Again, that's bookingatismistelefero.com.